Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And I am back with a home project, cleaning project. It's not really a project at all. Basically, I am in the middle, literally in the middle of transitioning my table from spring to fall. We skipped summer this year. And while I was sick, one of my dogs was also sick all over my rug. Now this is a washable rug. I will link below where I actually bought the rug, where I put it out, where I did a little review of it for you. But I will show you like cinnamon, my poor little black and cream dachshund. She had, for lack of better kosher free words, bloody diarrhea all over this rug. It's, it's the worst it's ever been. And so I figured instead of just throwing it in my washing machine for fun and then putting it back, I would show y'all because that is the number one question I get about my washable rug is how washable is it? How easy is it to wash? How clean does it get? So I just figured let's do a washing my rug video. So I'm going to give you a close up of the mess and then we're going to pop it in the washer and I will show you tomorrow after it comes out of the dryer exactly how it looks, how it fits in my washer, and how clean it gets. So, start with the mess. It's pretty bad. It's really bad. Come on, guys. Yeah, it wasn't her fault. Okay, so, as you can see, I have five dogs. Mom has one of her little babies over here right now, Cookie. But, Cinnamon, here's Cinnamon. She's the one who was sick. And it was not her fault, but as you can see, it is like the entire corner of the rug is stained here. And it is stained, like this is after I have scrubbed it three times with Dawn dish soap, which is the recommended way to clean this rug without putting it in the washer. So it is a washable rug, goes all the way through. I don't have a pad under it because I wash it all the time. And for the most part, it stays really clean. But we're going to go ahead, we're going to pick it up off the floor, and I'm going to put it right in the washing machine, and we will show you sugar. That is so unladylike. <laughs> we'll show you exactly how to wash it. All right, y'all. Uh, let's go ahead and move it. And I, I move this with my table set all the time. You just have to be so much more careful when there's plates on the table. So I figured since I'm switching out the table, there's a present. Look at this. Yeah, it was probably cinnamon. He was just, oh, it did. It's, it's, yeah. Okay, well, we'll just put it in it the washer. Not, oh, is not a fresh present? No, it is not. That mm. one's no, a piece. So, it's not pieces and parts. I'm going to take it just like this. I'm going to put it directly in the washer. I, I put that thing back in there. I, I didn't realize it was clean. Mom didn't realize this was clean. This is a dog potty pad. This is where they usually potty. And you can see this is my washer. I've been washing a lot of dog stuff since I've been feeling better. So, you know, when you have five dogs, you do a lot of dog laundry. It's definitely bloody. You might want to put something on it. I might treat that with a little bit of detergent. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Laundry room. It's not super conducive to filming, but this is the. This is the nice dog gate mom and I built. Yes. It works great for keeping my dogs away from my laundry detergent and other things. I'm going to put it right on the train, work it in, and then we're going to put it in the wash. And so as you can see, you want to get close one? There is still at least half the drum, so there's more than enough room yeah, it's a big for washer. this washer to wash this rug. It can really wash my 8x10 washable rug in the laundry room. I typically take that one to the laundry mat because I don't want to, I don't want to touch my hair. Um, I don't want to mess up my washer, and I just don't like to risk it. But this one I wash in here probably twice a month. Now we're going to set this to wash and technically you are 
we're supposed to wash this guy without soap. And if I didn't have dogs having dog problems, I would do that. But if you have larger stains like this, it is okay to use laundry detergent. So that is what I use. I literally just use the regular laundry detergent I use for my everyday clothes. And then we will put it, you can either put it in the dryer and it'll be a little wrinkly, or you can put it just straight out to dry outside or in your, sometimes I just put it straight back in the dining room. So tomorrow, after I uh, switch this over to the dryer later today, I will show you in the dining room. Okay. I think of the word. All right, so the washer is done. So let's check the rug and see if we got those stains out. Every other time I put the rug in here for any stains, they come out just fine, but those were really bad. All right, so I'm not sure which was the side with the stains, but there's nothing on that side. Trying not to let it get all over the, the floor while it's wet. And no stains on this side. So it worked. I honestly was a little worried. Like I said, I've washed a lot of stains out of this rug, but blood is bad, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and dry it. Sometimes I do put it outside to dry. If you have time and it's not going to rain, um, drying it outside in the sun is the best way to get it to lay flat. I find that even when you put it in the dryer, it dries fine, comes out just a little bit wrinkly, but those wrinkles typically fall out in a day or two. So it's, it's half one dozen or the other. I put it on heavy duty. We'll come back in an hour and put it back in the dining room. Lunch time. Give me the broom, I'll sweep. All right, mom, do you see a stain? I do not. I looked at it when it came out of the dryer and it looked good. It looks really I showed good. them, but I think it is perfect. Like I don't see the stain that was over here. That was not a stain that was a permanent present. I don't see the red stain that was down there from the blood. Yeah. And even if it is turned around, which it's not because of the tags on that side, I don't see either. So yeah. All right. let's go ahead and lay it out and then I'll give y'all those. I just like, is this the fluffiest, like thickest rug? No, it's not fluffy or thick at all. It has to be thin to go in the washer and dryer. But I love that it gives me pattern and I can literally just Throw it in my washing machine. All right, so I like to make it even with the yeah the line on the floor. That's gonna be a good money shot. Oh, buddy. All right. Okay. Move the table back. You want to go backwards? No. There we go. 
I didn't think we did. We have to pick it up to higher providers. In case you're wondering, in between washing the rug and replacing the rug, Mom and I set an entire fall table. So uh, I'll leave that link below if you want to check it out. Is it even? It is a little bit more. Yeah. Hard because I was in the way. That's better. Yeah, that's it wasn't in the right spot before it must have gotten pushed or shifted. Oh, yeah, there's place settings here. Oh, it's not where I usually put the chairs, but it's fine. Well, oh, would you want to move the place setting? No, I just want you to come put the chair over here where I like it. Okay. Otherwise, the camera can't see the table with the chair okay. in the way, so... Okay. I don't leave the chairs here for use, but I leave them here for videos. Okay. All right, y'all. Right. I'm gonna show you a close up, but literally, like, I didn't even, oh. I almost didn't do this video because there's not anything to it. I literally just washed the rug, but it was such a bad stain. I thought I'd show you guys. Washful wow. rugs work. I like them. Five dogs, plus mom brings her dogs over here all the time. Six more. She has six, 11 dogs worth of stains go on these rugs and I wash them all the time. Okay, so the sun is conveniently shining right where the old stain was. And you can see any discoloration that was here just from the dog sitting on it or foot traffic because this is a very, like this is my front door and this is my kitchen. It is white and bright and clean all the way across. And I'll show you the other side. The stain is not over here either. Stain is gone. It's just darker over here. All right, y'all. See you later.